Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Senior Bytes and this is a continuation of the tutorial I did on uh, using a spectrum analyzer with a USB digital TV dongle. So another thing that you can do is uh, track planes that are flying overhead in your location. So at the moment I'm using a program called Virtual Radar and here is a plane coming overhead and it's a Virgin aircraft okay altitude 9456 meters uh, speed 732.7 kilometers so you get all this information it's interesting and also if you have a database you can keep a record of all the flights aircraft that had come over head and where, with the uh, aircraft that you can see photos of the aircraft that are actually flying overhead okay so let's uh, get into the tutorial and see how you can track aircraft in your area I'm on the rtosdr.com website and that is using ADS-B decoder and we'll be downloading this software here so that we can grab the information aircraft transmit about their location so the other aircraft can know they're around anyway this is a great program for tracking aircraft uh, so let's get into it so we want to download the software so go download from uh, github says so the most up-to-date branch of dump 1090 can be downloaded here okay so I'll just right click and open that in a new tab okay so these are the files that you'll find in there and so we'll download the zip download that Okay, don't worry that these are very old, two, three years old, uh, because it still works, which is great. Okay, so I go up here to Tools, Downloads, and highlight that as downloaded. It's only 1.2 megabytes. Open the folder. Okay, so now what I do is I'm using 7-zip to unzip the a compressed file okay then we go into here ah, this is the one I need okay so we scroll down to here to the zip file here and we will unzip that one And there it is there. Notice it's for Windows. That's the one we're looking for. Okay. So we'll just... Uh, I'm doing a Control c or you can do a right click and just copy that. Okay. And go to the C drive where RTL SDR is and I right click and paste. So now we got the 1090 there. Okay, and we'll just remove the end bit there. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so we've got everything we need here. If we, here we go, the back file. Double click that. Okay, now this is 1090 running. Press any t key to continue, so I press the key. That's weird. Uh, the next step would be downloading Virtual Radar so that we can actually see the aircraft running. I ran the BAT file, but it doesn't work. That's because I haven't plugged in the dongle. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. We installed 1090. 
next tutorial we'll be installing virtual radar okay I'm Darrell Williams from Senior Bytes and till the next tutorial if you have any questions or comments please leave them below the video on my YouTube channel Senior Bytes I'll reply to you ASAP as soon as possible in the meantime you have a good day goodbye